So in this video, I want to talk about common mode uh, and differential mode. Uh, voltages, or more generally signals, because uh, we can have voltages or currents. So what is a common mode or differential mode uh, voltage? Well, uh, common mode and differential mode only have meaning when we're applying more than one signal. So when we're applying, say, two signals. And so I've just drawn a, a differential pair here as one example of that. But we can have any circuit where we want to apply multiple voltages or currents. And we've got some voltage V1 here on the left and some voltage V2 here on the right. Um, but physically, we know that V1 and V2 might not be independent of each other. So these voltages might be the same. Uh, they might be out of phase with each other. They might be, or differential. Um, and so let's take the example where the two voltages are differential or they're completely out of phase with each other. So let's say that they're, uh, the two signals are biased about some voltage, uh, one volt. And let's draw V1 in green and V2 in blue. Uh, so we know that physically, when we're using amplifiers, we always have to bias our signals about a certain point. And so this is just one of the, uh, and, and this is a good way of illustrating the difference between common mode and differential mode voltages. So let's say we've got our V1 is some sinusoid uh, biased about one volt. So let's say the let's say the amplitude is 0.4 volts, for example. And then if this is a fully differential signal, then V2 is just going to be 180 degrees out of phase with V1. So they're both biased about one volt. Uh, because physically that's what our amplifier will often require, uh, but they're out of phase with each other in time. So intuitively, we'd expect the common mode voltage, VCM, just from the name, uh, it's the voltage common to these two signals, or we would expect it to be one volt, uh, because both these signals are biased about one volt, or they have the same one volt uh, constant. If we were to write out mathematically these two signals, uh, we'd say that V1 is one volt plus uh, 0.5 volts times sine of uh, omega naught T, where omega naught is just our frequency. It doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, and V2 is also one volt plus 0.5, or sorry, this is uh, minus 0.5 because it's out of phase minus 0.5 volts times sine of omega naught t. So we see that the one volt uh, is common to the two signals. And if we want to write out a mathematical definition for the common mode voltage, we can just say that it's the average of the two. So if we take V1 and add V2 uh, and then divide the two signals by two, that is our common mode voltage. So if we were actually to add these two together, we can see that one plus one is two, and divide that by two, that's just one volt, uh, plus, and then 0.5 volts minus 0.5 volts, because the sinusoids are the same, uh, that's just zero. So the, the answer for our common mode voltage is just one volt, and that's exactly what we would expect. So if we plot um, our common mode voltage underneath, uh, so this axis is implicitly time, and this is uh, voltage as a function of time, um, if you want it explicitly. In engineering, we often just drop the axes because the x-axis is almost always either time or frequency, and it tends to be obvious from the context. Um, so this is one volt. Uh, our differential mode voltage, VDM, or v, sorry, VCM, our common mode voltage, is just constant. It's one volt. It's not a function of time. So it's exactly what we'd expect. Now to find the differential mode voltage, uh, we do almost the same exact thing, except we need to subtract these two signals. Uh, so V1 minus V2, because we want to find the difference between them, um, VDM. However, uh, we need to also divide this by two. And the reason for that is uh, you can think of it mathematically or you can think about it intuitively. We're interested in the average 
differential mode voltage or the average uh, difference between these two signals. In other words, if we were to write V1 and V2 um, as some common mode voltage, which they have in common, uh, we'd write V1 as plus uh, the differential mode voltage and V2 as minus the differential mode voltage. And if you solve these two equations, you'll get that the differential mode voltage needs to be half of the difference between the two voltages. And so if we just subtract V1 minus V2, we'll see that the one volts both cancel, uh, but the 0.5 volts add to each other. So it's 0.5 minus negative 0.5. Uh, so that ends up being one volt times sine of omega naught T divided by two, or our differential mode voltage is 0.5 volts times sine of omega naught T. And this is uh, VDM. So let's write this in yellow. And so this doesn't have a DC component. So we'll write this at the, at the very bottom. So it's not biased about anything. Um, and it's still got the same amplitude of 0.5 volts. So this is our differential mode voltage VDM. Uh, so I just realized that the diagram above has a little mistake. Uh, this voltage should be two times VDM. Uh, everything else is, is correct. The explanation is fine. So, okay, um, this, is, this seems fairly straightforward. It's just the common mode voltage is the signal that's common between the two signals, and the differential mode voltage is the difference between the two, and we have to throw in a factor of one half uh, to make sure that the math all works out. But um, you might be tempted to say, well, isn't the common mode voltage then just the DC voltage? Uh, and sometimes it is, but that's not always the case. So for example, if we've got, uh, let's say we've got a similar situation where V1 is just this oscillating, this sinusoid, uh, except V2 this time is constant. So instead of being a sinusoid that's 180 degrees out of phase, V2 is this constant voltage. And you might be tempted to say, well, they both have a one volt offset, right? They both have a bias of one volt. Um, so their common mode voltage should be one. Uh, but mathematically, that, that doesn't work out because remember we said that the common mode voltage is V1 plus V2 over two. Uh, this definition has nothing to do with the DC offset voltage or the, the constant term. So if we actually write this out for this example, uh, V1 still biased about one volt, so it's one volt plus 0.5 times our sinusoid. Uh, but then V2 is just one volt. So we don't have the same cancellation of the sinusoid that we have before. And we end up with a result being uh, one volt plus 0.25 times sine of omega naught T. Or if we plot it underneath, um, our differential or our common mode voltage is still biased about one volt, but it's this reduced amplitude sine wave of the same frequency. So this is our common mode voltage. So the common mode voltage can actually be a function of time. Uh, and it's not necessarily the intuitive um, common signal between V1 and V2. It's the mathematical average of the two. So similarly, if we write out the differential mode signal, uh, that's just V1 minus V2 over two. And so here again, the ones cancel because they've both got the same DC offset. Uh, and we're left with 0.5 times our sinusoid. This is in units of volts or divided by two or 0.25 volts times sine of omega naught T. And so this is our differential mode voltage. And so the differential mode voltage here is actually, it's in phase with the common mode voltage, except it's biased about zero instead of being about one volt. So this is VDM. So before I wrap up, I wanna say, why do we use uh, this common mode and differential mode voltage? Because it seems like after this, uh, this part about them not necessarily being physical quantities, um, they're, they're not necessarily just the DC offset. Why do we use these? Um, well, it's because of symmetry. Um, 
having a purely differential or purely common mode signal means that we can abuse symmetry in circuit analysis. So a lot of the times we'll have a circuit uh, such as the differential pair, for example, that is completely symmetric or um, anti-symmetric, uh, depending, on, depending on the case. And having the same voltage applied to each node, so if this is V1, um, or this is our common mode voltage, say, uh, VCM uh, plus VDM, and this is VCM minus VDM, we can use superposition to analyze these separately, and we can apply just a common mode voltage to, say, one side of the circuit, so VCM and VCM. And this circuit is now fully symmetric. So we can say that, well, this node voltage must be exactly the same as this node voltage, so must this and this, and so on and so on. So it's incredibly powerful uh, using symmetry for circuit analysis. And this is why we use the common mode and differential mode signals, uh, because it gives us a much better sense of how our circuits are actually affecting the signals that we're applying to them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below and I'll see you next time.